for a man of all time. I want us to look at verse um, 13 because that's how this all gets started. Verse 13 says, If you look for me wholeheartedly, I'm not sure what the King James says there, but wholeheartedly says a lot, doesn't it? We have to really look for the Lord with all of our heart. But what's he say? He said, when you pray, I will listen. And you'll find me. So when we pray, God is going to be found. And we have to decide, is God where I want him to be in my life? Holy, wholeheartedly? Ask, the Bible says, ask, believing, and you shall receive. We want this to be a great homecoming service. We want this church to grow as God would have it to grow. And it all begins with us. And prayer. Um, Carolyn showed me a, a thing on the computer last night, by the way. And uh, it was about Billy Graham and the conference that he had with Woody Allen. Everybody knows those two, right? Woody Allen was kind of a comic and uh, show host. And he liked to be non-religious. And so in this interview with Billy Graham, and I was kind of surprised that Billy Graham agreed to the interview with him. But you see, I think God had a hand in all of that. Yes. Just like God has a hand in our lives. And I thought it was interesting because as Woody Allen began to mock Billy Graham and the religion of Billy Graham, which is the religion of all Christians, of course, uh, I thought that Billy Graham had some marvelous answers. He didn't try to put Woody down. He didn't try to make him out to be someone that God couldn't save. And I don't know whether Woody ever got saved or not, but they talked about that. And even Woody would ask the audience some questions, and then he would turn those questions around to Billy to get his response to them questions. God, I'm sure, was in that because... Billy Graham would say, the Bible says, when it comes to sin, that all sin is sin, and it doesn't matter if you think you told a little white lie, that you can get by with it, versus maybe a bigger lie. It doesn't matter if you think, I really haven't done anything wrong, all my bad things, or bad times, have been small. Billy Graham said, all sin is sin, and there's no such thing as a great sin versus a little sin. Woody said, well, you know, he said, you just might convert me. And if you was to convert me, if I was to come to church, would God be there? You know what, Billy Graham, he was kind of mocking the idea that we can't really see God. And how would we know that he was converted to being a Christian? Would God be there? Billy said, you know, and he quoted a, a fellow in England that, had, that was a druggist and had changed his life and when he came to Christ it was the greatest day of his life and he said Woody he said I know that the day you come to Christ that'll be the most greatest or awesomest day that you'll ever have well they, they went on back and forth for a while uh, talking about that and finally uh, you know, I think the problem with Woody was he thought he wasn't 
one of God's special children. He thought he was ugly. And then when he looked in the mirror, he said, I don't see that God's done such a good job. But Mr. Graham said, Woody, God loves you just like you are. And God wants you to be something and God can make you to be because God has a perfect plan. Now, I don't think Billy said it in those words, but that was the way I, I interpreted it. God has a perfect plan and he can make you, Woody, what he wants you to be. Because see, Woody said, or, or someone said, well, would, would he make a good preacher? And he asked Billy Graham, he said, would I make a good preacher? And Mr. Graham said, would he? Yes, I believe you would. Because you are smart. You have a way with people and you're a good host on this show. And you have a good audience and they have some good questions. Yes, God can make you what God wants you to be. God can use you. He has a plan. And you know what? That made me think that no matter who we are or what we are, whether it's the color of our skin, uh, how much education we might have, or so on and so forth, or what job we might have, God has a perfect plan and He can use each and every one of us to fill that plan. A little illustration. A little old lady. Was amazed. About the nice young man. That uh, lived next door. For every day this young man. Would help her unload her things. Out of her car. Or every day. He was out helping her in her yard. And so one day she asked this young man, she said, Son, how did you become such a fine young man? This young man replied, Well, when I was a boy, I had a drug problem. The old lady was shocked. She said, I can't believe that. The young man replied, it's true. My parents drug me to church on Sunday morning. My parents drug me to church on Sunday night. And my parents drug me to church on Wednesday. 